Hi guys, Tony Dubbed here and today I'm doing a video review on the One More Colour Buds and yes, they are very colourful. Now these earphones can be found for around £99 in the UK and $99 in the US. If you're interested in buying these, the locally link will take you to your localised Amazon store. Now also in the description below you'll also find a link to my Instagram. So if you do use that platform, it's at Totally Dubbed, I'd very much appreciate a follow. And if you're interested in reading news or actually watching reviews on the latest all electric and hybrid cars, do check out Totally EV, it's my own website and I'd very much appreciate your support. So without further ado, let's see if these earphones are worth it. So first off, let's talk about what you get in the box and it's pretty simple. You've got the earphones themselves in their charging case and you've got a USB type A to USB type C um, connector, as you can see I haven't used, and different sized ear tips which are also conveniently coloured given that these are the colour buds after all. Now in terms of the case themselves, they weigh, including with the earphones that is, they weigh around 40 grams which means it's pretty lightweight. In terms of the design itself, you can see that they are appropriately colored although I'm not too much of a fan of the color here the, the greenish color that's provided purely because the case itself somewhat reminds me of let's say a toilet seat more than anything like a cheap toilet seat that you might see in a I don't know a grotty hotel I know what places have I been to but um, what I will say is that I'm not too much of a fan of this kind of glossy design but what I do like is the fact that the case is not only lightweight but also really well designed in terms of its rounded edges. Now in comparison to let's say the Creative Outlier Air, not only are they much sleeker but they are just, just way more, well, better designed and are similar to let's say the Libertone Track Air Plus. Now in terms of the earphones themselves, they weigh a whopping 4.1 grams each, so they're very, very lightweight. And in terms of design as well, they fit pretty snugly in terms of in my ears. So I had no issues there. And in terms of uh, putting them into their case, they've got a magnetic charge. Uh, you've got a button over here uh, to pair and things like that and also gives you an indication of the battery life they come in different LEDs and you can see over green over here indicates that it's pretty much on its maximum uh, maximum level now in terms of the charge that you get um, in terms of the the case itself it's got USB type C and it gives you around six hours per bud whilst the case and the buds included give you a maximum of 22 hours of playback which isn't bad but not as good as let's say its competitor the creative outlier air which offers I think up to 30 hours of playback, that's 10 hours per bud and uh, 20 hours and therefore there's no surprise that the, this case is a lot bigger and the earphones themselves are also a little bit chunkier. Now the, in terms of the earphones themselves, uh, they've got a really nice stylish design, uh, at least in my opinion, I think one more have done a good job. While I am not a fan of the case themselves, I do like the fact that yes, they do come in black if you don't like these type of colours, but the fact that they're called the colour buds, it's no surprise to see they're completely fully coloured and as I mentioned before with the silicon buds as well which are coloured, it's a nice touch and I really like the fact they've got also a kind of silvery type of look over here. It look, these looks might not be for everyone but as I said, if you're not really a fan of the colourful nature of these earphones, you can get them in full black as well. Now in terms of operating these earphones, they've got touch sensitive buttons and I'll uh, touch upon this, yes pun intended, in the app section of this review but uh, it's just worth bearing in mind that you have got uh, touch sensitive buttons on both of the earphones. Now in terms of connectivity, they connect over Bluetooth 5.0 and it's great to see that you've got uh, Bluetooth aptX and AAC codecs included. While the Creative Outlier Air also offers such good codec support, it's nice to see that these budget earphones, so to speak, these true wireless earphones, also offer such good codec support. These earphones do work independently from each other. So for example, if I were to place the left bud in and have the right bud playing, I can do the other way around as well. Whilst a lot of other earphones out there, including the Creatives, they have a kind of master and slave driver type of approach, so you can only use one side of your ear rather than the uh, other. So it's great to see that uh, one more have integrated this really well, and it kind of carries on from the rest of their range that they have, um, which also do a similar type of thing. Now the earphones also come with an app, it's the One More Music app, and you can see through here you've got um, an indication of the battery level 
per earbuds. You've also got smart playback as they call it, in other words if you do want it to have auto place pause uh, function and you can customize that, I've had it disabled over here. And then you've got the custom settings which in other words is for the touch sensitive buttons, they can be customized. Now there's a degree of customization because let's say if I were to go tap three times, if I were to move to volume it would move it on both of the earphones, the left and right. You can't have let's say the right earbud Tr uh, triple tapping as play pause whilst um, the left earbud is volume up and down. They're, um, they're kind of pre-assigned. So you've got play and pause, previous and next, volume up and down, and also voice control. So it's great to see these included, but it's just slightly a shame that you couldn't kind of tailor like the right earbud doing one thing and the left earbud doing something else. And now we get on to call quality. So everything you can hear right now is coming directly from the One More Color Buds and you can see how they are positioned just in my ear as you normally would expect. Now in terms of the call quality you can be the judge for yourselves but I think the microphones do a decent job given the, their price point. Obviously if you do compare them to more expensive earphones such as let's say the Jabra 75T which are among one of the best earphones for call quality then they just simply won't compete. Now to give you an idea of something that does cost within the same sort of price bracket, here are the Creative Outlier Airs. Now you'll be able to hear for yourselves the differences between the two and I would say the Creative Outlier Airs do a great job, but they do suffer from quite a bit of background noise whilst the One Mores do seem to isolate my voice just a little bit more from a noisy environment. Although, as I said, not as good as more expensive competitors, but just something worth bearing in mind. And now we get on to sound quality. Now, these earphones use balanced armature drivers, which unlike a lot of its competitors, use actually dynamic drivers. Even one more in its more premium range actually use um, dynamic drivers. So it's just intriguing to see balanced armature drivers in true wireless earphones because you don't normally say that. For those people who don't know, generally balanced armature drivers are more like tonally flat, whilst the dynamic drivers are as the name would suggest will be a little bit more dynamic therefore give you a bit more of a punch in the low end tones. Now as I mentioned before they do support aptx and AAC in my case I was using aptx codec to connect to these earphones because I have a Samsung Galaxy S10 plus and I had no issues there. Also I should mention that there was no problems with lip sync or video delay of any um, sorts that I noticed when I was watching YouTube videos. Now when it comes to overall sound quality these earphones are a little bit of a mixed bag, to be quite honest with you, purely because when I was comparing them to the Creative Outlier Air, they just don't sound as rich and as airy as these earphones do. And so let me explain why. First off, in terms of the low end tone, so starting off with the sub bass, these earphones do have a pretty punchy um, low end, but it doesn't really extend. So therefore the sub bass tones can't really be compared to dynamic drivers. So for example, the JBL 300 TWS and the Creative Outlier Air provide a much more low end extension. As for the mid bass, however, these are a lot more tighter sounding. So they won't be as more forward sounding in terms of their low end presence, in terms of their mid bass, but it does mean that they're more concise and precise just because they have balanced armature drivers in comparison to somewhat wobbly sounding dynamic drivers such as like in the Creative Outlier Air and the JBLs. Now moving on to the mids, here is where they kind of excel because due to the technology of using balanced armature drivers, these earphones have got a way more forward sounding mid range. So therefore if you do listen to a lot of podcasts or vocal tracks, then these earphones will come across a lot better in comparison to let's say the Creative Outlaw Air that sound a lot more recessed and pushed back in the mid range region. As for the highs, they do extend. They're not as sparkly and as fun sounding as the Creatives or the JBLs, which are arguably a bit too accentuated in that respect and to the point you have to EQ it down, but they do provide a decent type of enjoyment. Now, my biggest complaint about these earphones is in their soundstage department and specifically when it comes to instrument separation. Now, with balanced armature drivers, I normally expect fantastic instrument separation and like a flawless tonality. Now, while the tonality and the imaging is done really well, the instrument separation is a little bit lackluster and they just don't sound, well, ironically, not that dynamic. And in comparison to its competitors, that sounds just more airy and more fluid, these earphones sound a lot more close sounding and just a little bit more claustrophobic. Now don't get me wrong, some people might like that, but in the grand scheme of things I think most people will prefer the overall airiness of the Creative Outlier Air 
purely when it comes to instrument separation. Now, considering that these earphones are actually more expensive at the time of making this video in comparison to the Crate Live Outlier Air, it's just somewhat that thing that you should consider before purchasing these because while they might have a few good traits there in terms of sound quality, in terms of sound stage, then they might be a little bit of a letdown. Now this pretty much leads me to my verdict and is where I should really kind of conclude this video because while these earphones do have a nice style and they've got a nice charging case and a decent battery life and also pretty good call quality considering their price, in terms of the sound quality, they're just not as good as its competitors, specifically the Creatives and the JBLs, which here not only provide a much better sound quality throughout the frequency range, generally speaking, but namely in the soundstage department, they just sound a lot more airy and more fluid than the One More's, um, the One More Color Buds. So that's just my honest opinion and take on these earphones. Let me know in the comments below if you have these earphones or have its competitors that I've mentioned, for example. I'll be very much intrigued to hear your thoughts. And if you do like this video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to see more, as it always helps me continue doing independent, unbiased, unpaid reviews. And of course, favor and share if you feel this will help a family or friend. All right, guys, I've been totally dubbed. Take care and bye-bye.